Today we're gonna learn this sound. Welcome back guys, my name is Gerd. I got this request right here. Can you do Wawad's cover animals? Kirby, please do a tutorial of Wawad's animals cover. I want to know about his fast clicks and how he does that. Hey man, dope tutorial. Would love to see a vid on Wawad's click technique. So when I went to that video when Wawad makes the cover on animal, I saw that a lot of comments were saying how could he make such a pronounced and powerful <coughs> click sound. So that's why we're gonna cover that today, how we're gonna do that click sound for you to learn before you can learn the animal cover. I will cover the cover on animals that Wawa did in just the next video and I will try to get that up pretty soon. If you want to hear when Wawad makes the click sound, I have the animals cover right below and he makes a lot of click sounds in that video and you can check how he does the click sounds because that's what I'm making the tutorial on. I've been doing this sound a lot myself, even I think before I started beatboxing, so to me it's not very difficult, not even to make it very powerful, but I'll try to explain it as good as I can to you guys so you can learn it, if you haven't already. The first thing you have to do in order to learn the you have to make the So I think a lot of people when they were kids they were going around and doing this sound a lot So I really hope you can do it. I also believe a lot of you actually can do it. So you make that sound And then you take away the part you make the taking away the It's only It might be very weak just like so when you got that far, now the thing you gotta do is to make it powerful, like You might not even be able to make it that powerful after this video or any time But I hope you will get closer to make it more powerful and use it like wow So now when you got the What you gotta make sure is it gotta be somewhere behind the area of your front teeth So there's a flat area behind your front teeth somewhere there you gotta make that sound. So it should not be down here like I will show you close up. Not here, but here. So next thing you have to think about when you got the right position right behind your teeth or at the flat area behind your teeth. Now what you gotta do is realize that you're not gonna do it on the middle of your tongue. Do it slightly on the side of the tip of your tongue. So you're changing the pressure from the absolute middle of your tip of your tongue to the slight left or right. But it's still on the tip of your tongue. It's just moving the pressure slightly, very very slightly, just so you get that I will show you close up. So you can see I'm not doing it on the middle of my tongue. You see the pressure right here. So what I do to make it easier to make it on the side of my tongue, what you gotta do is kind of like moving it to one side. And also like kind of very, 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 very slightly twisting it to one side. So if this is my tongue and I want to do it on my left side, what I gotta do is to move it just a little bit like this. It's a very small movement, but I think that small movement is pretty important to make this pronounced sound. So you have your tongue like this and then you move it just like this. If you're gonna do it on the left side of your tongue because then it's much easier to put this area to the roof of my mouth and pop it that way I will show you close up. So if I'm gonna do it here I gotta move my tongue this way just a small small bit You see the small twist as well So you might not realize those small movements I do in my mouth but I still believe that twisting and moving your tongue just a little bit will make it much easier to make the sound. I've been making it a lot, so to me, I don't have to twist or do stuff a lot to make it very pronounced. <coughs> Nevertheless, you got a close up view in my mouth, so you get a better understanding of how I do it and how you can do it yourself. At least I hope so. If you feel like this explanation doesn't work for you and it's too complicated, 
just make the take away the and you do the and try to make that as powerful as possible by creating a lot of suction and then releasing also when you create that suction what you're doing is you're breathing in air but you can't breathe in air because your tongue is in the way and then you create the suction by kind of like breathing in but instead creating pressure and then doing it as hard as you can and then releasing that could be a great exercise to get this sound tense up as hard as you can and then release and try to get as hard and loud sound as possible so when you practice the power a lot of the sound you will be able to make it much more faster and easier to execute And as you can see, I shape the sounds by changing my mouth positioning. To be honest, this is the one of the more difficult sounds to explain to me because I've been doing this sound so much. I think it's more difficult to explain sounds that you've known a very long time because it's a very long time I learned this sound. So it's difficult for me to remember how I learned it because I've been doing it a lot. Maybe I just like did it. I had to go in depth with the sound, I think in order for you to make the animals cover because if you get this sound, animals cover by Wawad, it's not such a very big deal anymore. The only difficult part about it, it's very, very, very fast. And that you will need to practice as well. So a quick summary. First, you make the clop you probably did when you were younger. You take away the part so it's only then you put the pressure on the side of the tip of your tongue and that can be accomplished by moving your tongue and twisting it a little bit to the opposite direction of where you're going to do the click sound so if i'm gonna do the click sound on this side of my tongue i move my tongue in kind of like this manner the next step is to create a lot of a lot of suction and then releasing A lot of lot of suction and you can also change the tone of this by changing the shape of your mouth I hope this tutorial helped you in one way or another I hope to be able to explain it a bit better to you but this is the best way I think I can explain it I hope it works out just a little bit or some way or maybe give you an idea how to make this sound so in the next video I will make a tutorial on Wawad's animals cover I hope you will enjoy that and that sounds a bit like More about that in the next video. Without further ado, leave a like, comment, share the video and subscribe because more is coming. My name is Kirby and I am out.